And the scene around me absolutely speaks for itself. You can see the devastation in this neighborhood here on Robinwood near Van Dyke. Take a look. The mayor saying this is a natural disaster. We're dealing with something with folks' lives. Let me deal with that. Let me deal with that. Mayor Dave Bing's emotions running high this afternoon as he addresses reporters. Just 24 hours ago, the city was burning 85 blazes in total, with the entire fire department on the streets battling the flames. You can do all the planning in the world, but when something of this magnitude hits any city, any area, um, you just have to respond. The mayor and fire commissioner shot back at critics who say the fire department is understaffed because of budget cuts. There are a lot of people who are naysayers who may say uh, you don't have enough equipment, you don't have enough people. Uh, I just don't think for a natural disaster, which is really what this was, I don't think that you can appropriately plan for that. We had a situation where we were having power lines down throughout the city. Uh, we had winds uh, from 25 to 49 miles an hour and it just created a firestorm where we had fires. The mayor says an arsonist is to blame for at least two fires. Many of the others are under investigation. One of the hardest hit neighborhoods, Robinwood, where 20 homes burned. The surreal scene the day after is hard to digest and it's even tougher for those who are staying. It was fiery debris just all everywhere on the roof, roofs. Josie Kaiser, her five-month-old baby, and four other children have nowhere else to go. We're going to stay here. We don't have that much damage, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, hopefully they fix it up, clean it up a little. And as I mentioned before, DTE is to blame, according to these residents, for the fire that started here. But the mayor and the fire commissioner are not confirming that. But however, DTE crews were in the neighborhood making some repairs. But again, the fire commissioner and the mayor stopping short of blaming them at this point. Other fire departments having to come to Detroit for the first time in decades to help battle these flames. Reporting live on the city's east side, I'm Tom Moy, Channel 7 Action News. Yeah, Tom.